Welcome to Headway 101. My name is Corey Freeman, and in this video quick start guide, I'm going to show you how to set up a simple website with Headway themes in just 15 minutes or less. We're actually starting right at 12 noon, so this is exciting. You can watch the clock in real time to see if I can get it done. So let's just say that you've installed WordPress and you've installed Headway as your basic WordPress theme. So if I go into the back end of WordPress in Appearance and Themes, you can see that Headway would be my active theme. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and before we dive into Headway, I'm going to go into Pages. The first thing I want to do is make sure that I have a front page set up. So here I've created a page and published it and called it Front Page and another page and published it and called it blog. Next, I'll go to settings, reading, and where it says front page displays, click a static front page. I'm gonna select my front page layout. If you don't want a blog, you can just leave the posts page as a select. But if you do want a blog, go ahead and click blog or whatever page you decided is what you wanted the blog to be. Then click Save Changes. All right, now we're ready to jump into Headway. If you're in the WordPress admin, you can go up to this top bar and click Headway Visual Editor Grid. Or if you're on your main website, you should get this message, no content to display, and you can click the Headway Grid button from the front end. When Headway loads up, it'll give you the Grid Wizard. The Grid Wizard allows you to get started quickly by choosing a preset layout, or you can import and export layouts that you may have downloaded, or you can copy layouts across from other pages. Just for simplicity, I'm gonna go ahead and choose this full content layout. So you can see the blocks have been placed for us. We've got a header block that shows our site title and tagline, a navigation block with all of our pages, a content block which will pull content from WordPress, and a footer block with our copyright and some helpful links. I'm going to go ahead and click Save and then View Site. So you can see here now we've got an actual website set up. Header, navigation, content, footer. You can click and drag in grid mode to resize blocks, say if I want to make the header smaller, and move things up. You can also make the wrapper, the area that contains blocks, bigger by clicking and dragging. I can click and drag an entirely new block onto the grid. Let's say a widget area if I wanted to have some footer widgets. And using block options, I can change the widget area to display horizontally. After you save, you can reload your front end to see the changes in effect. To delete a block, all you have to do is right click and select Delete Block. To open a block's options, right-click and select Open Block Options. From here, I can hide the Powered by Headway link, or the Go to Top link, or the Admin link, and just have a copyright. If I open the Block Options for the Navigation block, and click on search, I can put a search bar right in my navigation. All right. Before we move on to more headway things, I'm going to go into the WordPress administrative dashboard under appearance, menus.
You can use a menu and assign it to a navigation block. That way, you can display only the links you want to be shown. Here on the front page in the content, you can see that I've got my front page content. If I go to blog, you'll see a list of my blog posts. If I go to an about page, you'll see my about content. And another page, you'll see different content. All thanks to the content block. OK. In grid mode, you don't have to customize just the front page layout. You can also customize other layouts. I'm going to click this drop down and edit the blog index. Since I have a blog on my site, I want to make sure that it looks slightly different from my front page. The grid wizard is opened up again, and you can see here that I can clone an existing layout. So I'm going to clone my front page so I don't have to copy all the blocks myself. You can see the blocks have been outlined in blue, and they say that they're mirroring. What that means is that whenever I make changes to the header block on the front page, the header block on the blog index will also change. I can still drag and resize, though. I'll make my content block a little bit shorter as far as width goes, and drag in a widget block. I can see the exact width by hovering over the block. Height in the visual editor is only used to arrange elements, but it's best to fill things up like you're making a mock-up. OK, so now if I go to blog, you can see I have a sidebar. You'll also notice if I go to different pages, they also have a sidebar. That means the last layout I'll need to edit is for single and then pages. By editing this layout, I can clone the front page again. And if I just click Save, I have single static pages that don't have a sidebar and the blog that does. And if I click on an individual post, it also has a sidebar. Just a couple clicks and we've got the basic layout of your simple website built. I'm going to go back to the front page in the WordPress grid node and go to design. You can get to design mode by clicking on this paintbrush icon. Here's where you can choose all the colors. Global styling lets you change elements all across the site with just a few clicks. So here, I've changed all the text to the font Arial. I could also change it to a Google font. Let's say Open Sans. Under Structure, I can change the body background. Or, using the Element Inspector, I can right-click on the body and click Edit. Background. I can use the color picker to make it any color I want. I can even type in a value. Then I can right-click on my wrapper, which is holding my blocks. and assign it a border. It has a box shadow, but I can get rid of that easily. If you want to use an image, under Background, just click Image, Customize, and then Choose. You can use an image that's already been uploaded to your WordPress site, or you can upload a new image. You 
Let's see. How about a bridge? You can choose whether or not you want your image to repeat. Position it. Decide if you want it to scroll or not. And customize the size to either contain the entire image or cover the size of the page no matter what. If I toggle the inspector and right click on my header, I can edit the regular element for the title, which allows me to change the site title all across the website. I can change the font family just like I did with the regular text. Let's say to Oswald, the Google font. And I can change the color using a color picker. I can set it to light or bold, depending on how my font is laid out. I can even align it to center and change it to all uppercase. I can do the same thing with basically any element. To style other pages in my layout, all I have to do is go ahead and drop down and then click edit. So for instance, the blog index I was working with earlier. Let me first add some widgets to this layout. I'm going to reload. OK. Now using the inspector, I can edit this widget title. Change the font size. the letter spacing, and even the line height. It has borders, but I can get rid of them. I can also change how the post displays by opening up the content block options. Right now it's in the mirror, so I can click Do Not Mirror. And then under display, I can have it show just the excerpts. Or on normal mode, I can set featured post to zero. It could also display full entries, but I prefer excerpts. The final thing I'll do is add some white space. I'll edit the regular element for a wrapper, select padding, and change it from 15 to 30 to make my website look fuller. Obviously, you could go on for hours applying your design styles and colors and changing the look of things, but that's basically an overview of how Headway works. It's just as simple as clicking on something and customizing it. And of course, if you want to change the content on your page, I hit a button, sorry. All you have to do is edit the page in WordPress. This page had too many fake words, so I'm adding some real ones. The content block links directly into WordPress to display your content wherever you need it to. So this was a pretty quick and basic overview, but as you can see, we did get a website working in about 15 minutes. Uh, depending on how extensive your design is, you could get one up in as easy, easily as a day or work with your designer to change things on the fly. There's a lot of customization that I could go through and a lot of hours of video. And I will when you head over to headway101.com.
Headway101.com is loaded with tutorials and resources to help you get started, plus members-only Q&A forums where you can ask questions that I personally moderate. Be sure to check that out if you like this video, and be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to see more free videos about how to use Headway themes. I'm Corey Freeman. Thanks for watching.